Uh, Cara invited the supporters, uh, the, sorry, the sponsors, uh, man of the match on, on Saturday. Probably one of your best performances so far in an MK Don shirt. Yeah, I, f uh, I think so as well. Um, I still think you know there's a there's a lot more to come from me, but yeah, I was happy to be able to you know contribute with a good performance. So just looking to build some momentum now. Um, it's it's you've, you've kind of been in and out of the the, the team so far, haven't you? But um, from the performance we've seen, you like to get forward, and, and you know you you certainly <laughs> cover a lot of, cover a lot of yards up and down yeah. that right flank. Yeah, like that's that's my game, and that's what I want to you know try and bring. And obviously moving in January like sometimes there can be a, a time to adjust but um, yeah you know I'm, I, I, it's a good group and good lads and obviously know, know the staff and so um, yeah just look to build momentum into the coming weeks. Um, is, it, is it easy when you're thrust in at the 11th hour at, at uh, Tranmere as you were <laughs> yeah. because you know I'm pretty sure you were expecting at that point to think okay we'll just ease myself in I'm hanged yeah. on the bench it's fine and then all of a sudden at, at what half past two when Ethan Robson pulls up it's like oh in you go, mate. Yeah, I think, I think it was later, it was later <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's just that's just part of football, though. Like you do have to be prepared for anything. So you know, it was it was very last minute, and I was I was I was thrust in. But you know, uh, that that's fine by me, and you know, I'm prepared either way. So how um, how similar is it to to the set or the, certainly the style of play, perhaps more so than the setup at Gateshead? I mean, you know, having played under the Mike and Ian up there. Yeah. Um, coming into to, to MK Dons, was it easy to, to, to fit in, certainly in, in terms of the style of play? Yeah, the, the style's similar, I'd say obviously here we've got, you know, the, the, the standard of players is better. Mm. Um, but yeah, the, the style's similar, obviously everyone, different individuals have different attributes, so it's not going to look exactly the same, mm. but there are definitely similarities which, you know, it makes it easier to, to slot into. And when you've got a guy like Stephen Wern, who's, who's also made, mm. made the journey across as well, I mean, it's, Familiar faces in the dressing room as well, at least. Yeah, yeah, Werni, we got on, and you know, we we played well together at Gateshead. So you know, and you've seen in glimpses how good he is as well. So yeah, it's it's good to have familiar face, and yeah, it was good to see him. Um, we've only seen him sort of in, in fleeting moments so far this season since since he's come in. What sort of player is he, Stephen Wern? Uh, a good one. <laughs> I know that. Um, you know, creative gets on the ball, uh, we'll chip him with goals and assists, He's, he was doing it all the time. So I, I have no doubts that it'll be, it'll be great for us. So, you know, when, he, when he, he's had some little injury issues, but you know, when he gets his rhythm, I think he'll fly. So yeah, he's a top player, good, good, good person as well. So that always helps. It, it does, and particularly in this dressing room as well, it feels like it's a, it's a, it's a big collective unit. Yeah, no, it is a good group. Um, I'd say that helps. And you know it's a good squad, and it's a good squad of players and people. So you know everyone, you can all get behind each other, and there's no there's no egos. It's all you know people want to work hard and come here and do well. So I I think that's always really good. And um, speaking of coming here and wanting to do well, I think everybody has, has sort of got half an eye on on the promotion race now. Um, you know the, the the team has fought their way up into those playoff spots, seemingly cemented themselves in now. Um, is automatic promotion the absolute goal here, or is it still just taking it game by game in the, in the typical almost football cliche? Yeah, I mean, I think it's the goal for everyone. So I'm not going to sit here and say that it's not the goal. But um, yeah, you can write my headlines. Yeah, yeah. Lofthouse says no, no yeah. to promotion. <laughs> no, but obviously, you know, there is there is still a long way to go mm. in terms of you know, there's a lot of games we played and a lot of points up for grabs. So we know that we're in a good position now. Um, not to get carried away by that or even distracted by that because there's just no point because mm. you know there, there is a lot of football to be played but we know if we you know keep getting the results and um and performing well then the rest sort of takes care of itself so right. i think that's yeah that's it not just a, a a lot of games to go but a lot of games in the next couple of weeks yeah, yeah. as well um you know it, it can change dramatically can't it the the shape of the league table if you pick up points regularly in, in these next few games i mean definitely i mean you can you see, you'll see it all over the table you know there'll be teams that are around mid table and go on a run and then they're looking like they're pushing for playoffs mm -hmm. so you know it changes in a couple of weeks it can do good and bad so we just got to make sure you know that we we stick to it and and hopefully it's a positive change it feels like there's a, a strong mentality to, to bounce back from, from disappointing results. Obviously, we saw the, the game at Barrow wasn't going your way, but then, you know, by hook or by crook, you managed to get the, the points on Saturday. There 
the team doesn't know when to stop at the moment. Yeah, and I think you know that's important. And I think you know the gaffer and, and Ian are great with that. You know, they they keep us level, and I think that's so important. You know, to to be able to you know if it doesn't go well one week, you bounce back. Like, they're, and that's because there's so many games as well, especially at the moment. If it doesn't go right on a Saturday, Tuesday's there. So you know, I think you have to have that mentality, and you have to be strong and. You know, it, th things will things will be positive. Um, tough night expected tomorrow then. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they're they're a good side, so we know we know um, we know that, and we know their strengths, and you know, hopefully that we know our strengths as well. So hopefully we can go and implement that on them, and you know, come away with a positive result.